actively complaining to the ref, oh. ain't gonna get it done, and he eats a big knee for his trouble. And didn't even look phased. Oh, there. This could be the end of it. It looked like he caught him with one that stunned him while he turned his back. Trying to prove that he can hang with the best lightweights in the world here tonight. Well, you know, this is a this is a really good matchup on paper. I mean, oh, nice. Masvidal doing a good job of fighting the double leg there. And now he gets the, the, the fight to the ground where he wanted it. So let's see if he can execute that. Inside leg trip. He's got Toby Amato with that, and he catches Eric Reynolds with that. And this, perhaps, Jorge Masvidal's best asset is his ground and pound. You see just how quick he is with that right hand. And Reynolds is back to his feet, but taking a lot of punishment along the way. And we mentioned Masvidal wouldn't mind getting that first submission victory under his belt, but the way he's pounding away right now, maybe he'll get the win with striking. You see Reynolds' head bounce up off the canvas. Oh, you see Eric Reynolds look for the referee there for a second. The referee can't step in and save you. I don't know if he got poked in the eye or something. It looked but like maybe he was complaining about a shot to the back of the head, but you're right. Actively complaining to the ref, oh. ain't gonna get it done, and he eats a big knee for his trouble. And didn't even look phased. Oh, there. This could be the end of it. It looked like he caught him with one that stunned him while he turned his back. Yeah, and you have to think Masvidal knows Reynolds is in trouble. Are we about to see the first submission win of Masvidal's career, or is Reynolds gonna get a second life here? Oh, that's, that's pretty tight. I don't know how deep it is, though. Eric Reynolds able to get out. Now Masvidal trying with his other arm. No, well, Masvidal did a good job. He just transitioned to a head and arm triangle. He's gonna try to lock that up, flatten his body out and squeeze and get some good pressure here on the side. This is a triangle choke. That looks like it could be pretty deep. Eric Reynolds is doing the right thing to defend. He's bringing his left hand by his ear. But Masvidal really showing off the submission ability. Decides to abandon it and move him out. Uh, just those straight rights to the body. Oh, nice double leg. And again, Eric Reynolds really is fatigued after all the damage that he's sustained in the first two rounds. So you see Jorge hey, Masvidal sort of deviating from the strategy a little bit or changing up the strategy and going for the takedown. Let's go, guys. Keep working here. Well, Masvidal sinks in the anaconda there when he figure fours the legs. It just creates so much more. Oh, it, it, oh, that was beautiful. Masvidal sunk in the rear naked choke while Eric Reynolds started talking to the referee. It's all over! First submission win for Jorge Masvidal! Well, exactly how he told us during the pre-fight interview, Jorge Masvidal looking to get that first submission win, and he gets it. Eric Reynolds falling victim to the rear naked choke for the second time here in the Bellator Fighting Championships, and it wasn't easy for Jorge Masvidal, but he made it look easy. Eric Reynolds absorbing a whole lot of punishment there. Eventually, he succumbs, and, and Jorge Masvidal now can put that inverse triangle choke loss to Toby Imada in the rearview mirror. He is back in the win column here tonight.